there are a whole bunch of people walking outside with their dog. Well, well, hello everybody. Welcome to Friday. Today is uh, Friday, March 27. We are back at Wiley Trail again. It's been a while we haven't come to this trail. It is long overdue for us to hike this trail again. There's quite a bit of the people at the parking lot, but we are here anyway gonna do our normal uh, routine hiking on this trail we love this trail because it's uh, very close to our house it takes only about five minutes to drive here this trail is uh, close to the street you can hear a lot of cars passing by a little bit noisy but it's okay but this is the closest trail that we can hike uh, it's not the best trail, I would say, but it's still a very good family trail. This trail does allow you to ride bike. You can take your bike here. Uh, this is a beautiful spot here with all these pine trees. This trail allow bike, you just have to uh, watch for each other. A lot of times they uh, ring the bell or they yell let you know that they're coming. You just gotta watch out for each other. The uh, Wiggler hikers and the bikes are sharing the same route. So something to watch for. And I can see already on the ground here, there's quite a bit of people came through with their bikes. Uh, it's a perfect day for it too. We have uh, 45 degrees with 12 mile winds. But once you're in the wood, you don't really uh, feel the winds. It was being blocked by the trees. You can feel probably about five, six mile winds inside here in the wood. Like I said, it's quite noisy because it's close to the street. You will hear all these cars passing by, but it's okay. That's just uh, how it is. This is a friendly trail right inside the city. Many people come here. Many people come here with their family. It's a family trail. It's a very nice and friendly place to come. So it's just not a whole lot of terrain here. It's pretty flat and forward. It is very safe for your family, so. Like I said, we come here quite often. Uh, in the uh, spring or summertime, you might be able to find some uh, mushrooms here as well. There are some wild plants. We came here to pick a few uh, ferns, which is uh, fiddleheads, uh, coming up in May, late May. That's where we come in for that. So 
So when you're on this trail, you always want to uh, listen for bikers. They could uh, passing by, and you gotta watch out for each other. Give them some room so they can give you some room. You gotta share this trail. Here's a sign already to let you know this bike. And we got a map here telling you where you're at. As you can see, we have a very beautiful trail ahead of us. Wonderful. Once you're inside this wood, uh, you feel you're very close to the nature. As you can see, uh, like I said, you gotta give them room, bikes just pass by. Otherwise, it's a pretty good place. Uh, you just have to watch for those bikes. And there's some noise coming from the street, so you just have to know that because this is a, uh, yeah. The trail is just right next to the road. It is making a little noise from the car. Uh, we got some really nice wood on the ground here. It's a little rough on the ground here, you gotta watch out. Not yet. Probably at least mid May. It is very beautiful here during fall season. We came here probably about four times, five times during fall season. You're able to get a pretty nice uh, color leaves over here. We also came during uh, winter time. You're able to hike uh, during the snow. Pretty good in a way. Snow hiking is pretty awesome in a way. Like I said, it is a beautiful day. We can't just coop inside the house the whole time. We gotta get out and uh, do a little bit of a uh, stress on your leg, do a little walk. Uh, I was, yesterday the weather was cold and uh, it's gloomy, cold. Uh, we stay inside the house the whole entire day. As today, warm up a little bit. We have 45 degree, uh, sunny. We gotta get out the house at least an hour or so. Otherwise, uh, cooped up inside the house is not good for your health. Uh, this tree here recently just fell down because uh, last time we came, it wasn't like that. If you happen to uh, live in a North Holland area here, this is a good place to come and do your uh, hiking through the wood. It is very popular. Most of the people that come here are uh, in the local area. But if you are on the south side, you can come here too. Uh, it will take you probably about 10, 15 minutes drive here. Not bad at all. I drive to the south side all the time for hiking. Uh, south side have a couple nice uh, hiking places that you can go. Uh, this is actually the only one on the north side that I can think of, other than the one at the state park. We got a nice uh, pine trees area. Look at all these pine trees. Just have to be careful a little bit 
there are some roots on the ground. Don't trip over, you'll be safe. There's the sun right there. We came to another map here, let us know where we're at. You will never get lost in here because uh, they have maps just about every 500 feet. You will always find the map, knowing where to go. Wow, that's pretty cool. We go through that in the middle of the wood there. Wow. Pretty cool spot. Okay, let me take a picture of you, okay? Ah, this is a beautiful spot here. I kind of recognize this spot a little bit. We're definitely coming back to this spot again. You are looking at this uh, purple hat today. Amy, she uh, niched that. She got it done. She's so proud of it. She's wearing it today. Looking pretty good so far. She probably uh, did another one at home color, kind of like grayish. We're gonna turn right in here. Looks like uh, we're kind of out of way to go. We haven't taken this route before yet. I think this is our first time. But you can see the route is straightforward, pretty flat, there's nothing uh, in the way. Nice and easy. As you can see, we have a really nice path in front of us. I guess we're going to the left. Come on, we come from that direction, and now we're going to the left. Yeah. Just want to go a uh, different path that we have not been yet. So we can see. in here is quite narrow but bikes coming through anyway I remember when we rode bike to this section here it's kind of hard to get up this spot and once you get up on this spot going down there's not a whole lot of room and if you make a little mistake you could run into a tree so there's a safety involved you got to be careful about it Beautiful pine tree over there. Here it is, downhill that I was talking about. Once you uh, going down, 
it's going very fast speed because you're going downhill. If your handlebar slip, you might run into a tree. So it is very important to uh, pay attention at this section here. You don't want to fall and get hurt. We have beautiful pine trees over there. As you get to the bottom, it's actually pretty smooth. This is another tight area here. You got all these pine trees on the left and on the right. So if you do ride bike, you do have to uh, be careful because uh, there's so many trees on the left and on the right. If you slip, you could run into this tree and you fall, you could easily get hurt. I mean, uh, this trail is not big, but if you uh, just keep going around in a circle, take a different path, if this will be uh, plenty enough for you to work out as far as hiking. We've pretty much been following the bike path because it's a longer route. You get a more uh, workout this way. Another slope here. Look at all these beautiful pine trees, guys. They're so straight and so much. Yeah, I don't know what they did to this uh, stump, but it's all beat up. The last time we came, it wasn't like this. What did they do to this stump? I kind of regret for not bringing water. We normally have water, but this time we didn't bring water. Now we feel like we want to drink water. I want to drink too. <laughs> oh, nice air. Awesome tree. There's the sun. Up, up the hill. You can do it. Yeah. They cut it with the chainsaw. This log came down. On the right. Wow, that's pretty cool. Didn't recognize this tree. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Going downhill. Hey, didn't make a TP on the right hand side. You see that? Yeah, 
but it's all ruined because of uh, the tree. Wow. Look at all these pine trees. Just kept walking and walking. We sort of uh, don't know where we're going. We got to this uh, pine area. We kind of like uh, get lost in here, trying to figure out our way out of here. Interesting area here. Look at this uh, weird art uh, tree. Walking right along the walking right along the fence here. Got this rotten wood on the left here. There's a sun over there. So many people carved their name on the tree. All right, looks like we found our way. So we'll be back to the parking lot in about 15 minutes or so. A lot of people today on this show. That's because uh, people are not working. They have kids not in school and parents are not working. So everybody's home. Everybody get tired of staying at home. So at uh, one point now, everybody just wanna get out the house and uh, enjoy outdoor a little bit. Otherwise it's just too, uh, harsh to stay at home at this time. It's not good to cook inside the house. So we're back at this stump again. This time we're gonna make a left to the bridge. That's where we are heading back to the car. We had a good hour hiking on the trail here. We're finally back to the parking lot. It has been awesome, awesome hiking. It is nice to get out the house to stretch your leg. Recommend everybody who have time come in and do it. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, take care.